And by the time for this video, we're we'll reading First Chronicles 26 from the Universe from Russian Horse and it's an AV version. If you guys are not going to be long, you guys can go, go ahead and go to classicbookbiblegateway.com or you guys can go go ahead and go your map. I don't think you guys end up. Let's get started. First Chronicles 26, New Nostrum Origin, NIV, The Gatekeepers, The Divisions of the Gatekeepers from the Korahites, Meshalamaya, Son of Kor, one of the sons of Azaf, Meshalamaya, had son Zechariah the firstborn, Jediel the second, Zebariah the third, Jeph Neil the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehohanan the sixth, and Elohunai the seventh. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Obedirom also had sons Shemaiah the firstborn, Jeho Jehozabad the second, Joah the third, Zakar the fourth, Nef Nephaniel the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, and Puel Ete the eighth. For God had blessed Obedirom. Obedirom's son Shemaiah also had sons who were leaders in their families. Fam father's family because they were very capable men and the sons of Shemaiah, Shema Ophni, Raphael, Obed, and Elzabad, his relatives Elihu and Shemaiah were also able men. All those were descendants of Obed Edom. They and their sons and their relatives were capable men with the strength to do the work descendants of Obed Edom, 62 in all. Mel Meshalamai uh, had sons and relatives who were able men, 18 in all. Hosea the Meratite had sons. Shimrai the first, although he was not the firstborn, his father had appointed him the first. His uh, Hilkiah the second, Tabaliah the third, and Zechariah the fourth. The sons and relatives of Hosea were 13 in all. These divisions of the gatekeepers, through their leaders, had duties for ministering in the temple of the Lord, just as their relatives had. Lots were cast for each gate, according to their family, young and old alike. The lot for the east gate fell to Sh Shelemiah. Then lots were cast for his son Zechariah, a wise counsel, and the lot for the north gate fell to him. The lot for the south gate fell to Obedidom, and the lot for the storehouse fell to his sons. The lots for the west gate and the Shalekef gate on the upper road fell to Sh Shupim and Hosea. Guard was alongside of Card. There were six Levites a day on the east, four a day on the north, four a day on the south, and two at a time at the storehouse. As for the court to the west, there were four at the road and two at the court itself. These were the divisions of the gatekeepers who were descendants of Korah and Miriah, the treasurers and other officials. Their fellow Levites were in charge of the treasuries of the house of God and the treasuries for the dedicated things. The descendants of Ladan who were Gershonites drew Ladan and who were heads of families belonging to Ladan. The Gershonites were Jehiel, the sons of Jehielai, Zetam, and his brother Joel. They were in charge of the treasuries of the temple of the Lord from the Amramites, the Izharites, the Hebronites, and the Uzielites. Shubael, a descendant of Gershom, king, a son of Moses, was the official in charge of the treasuries. His relatives through Eliezer. Habaya, Jeshaya, his son, Jerome, his son, Zikri, his son, and Shalomith, his son. Shalomith and his relatives were in charge of all the treasuries for the things dedicated by King David by the heads of families, who were the commanders of thousands and commanders of hundreds, and by the uh, other army commanders. Some of the plunder taken in battle, they dedicated for the repair of the temple of the Lord, and everything dedicated by Samuel, Samuel the seer, and by Saul, son of Kish. Abner son of Ner and Job son of Zeria, and all the other dedicated things were in the care of Shalomith and his relatives. From the Izharites, Kenaniah and his sons were assigned duties away from the temple. As officials and judges over Israel, from the Hebronites, Hash, Hash Abiah and his relatives, 1,700 able men were responsible in Israel, west of the Jordan, but for, and for all the work of the Lord. And for the king's services for the Hebronites, Jeriah was their chief according to the genealogical records of their families. In the 40th year of David's reign, a search was made, and the records and capable men among the Hebronites were found at Jezer and Gilead. Jeriah had 2,700 relatives who were able men and heads of families. 
and King David put them in charge of the Rubenites, the Gadites, and half, the half tribe of Manasseh, for every matter pertaining to God and for the affairs of the king. Okay, guys, I really hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, make sure to click that like button, make sure to click the bell to know when I post. I hope that you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Bye.